Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, North Carolina. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, good morning. Chi Town, North Carolina, good morning. England, God bless you. Louisiana, good morning. Florida. Thank you for inviting followers already. Please invite your followers. Let's wake somebody up this morning. I'm gonna do a very specific type prayer this morning. Good morning, Chicago, South Carolina. Good morning, Ohio, Riverside, California, Woodbridge. Good morning, St. Louis. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for all those who are inviting your followers already. I appreciate it. London, yes. Los Angeles, South Carolina. Good morning. Sacramento, God bless you. Old stomach grounds. <laughs> good morning, New Jersey. Prince Andrew got a new home. God bless you. That's awesome. Georgia. Good morning, Texas. Good morning, Bahamas. Good morning, good morning. Virginia Beach. Good morning. God bless you. Bermuda. Draco. Good morning. Unless they're all wrong, I'm sure. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Texas. Good morning. Thank you for inviting your followers. So this morning, the Lord laid on my heart since last night. Um, well, amen for that. God bless your husband, uh, sister's husband. Amen. Since last night, the Lord... Um, the land is on my heart. Um, oh, my Aunt Diane's on. God bless you. Good morning. Um, on my heart last night, just pray for our loved ones that are not saved, that are uh, living lukewarm lives, that are uh, are lost. Um, it's just been on my heart to pray that. And so this morning, I want to pray specifically um, for our families, um, extended families, those that you love. And... Um, I'm going to ask you to put their names, and I'm going to call everybody's name, but the one that in your family who you really feel that you want God to do a move in their life, that you want God to, to visit them, that you, um, you, you're tired of seeing them in the state they're in, um, that you put their names up this morning, because we're going to begin to pray for them. Specifically, I'm going to pray for them this morning, um, and that's what I'm going to really concentrate on this morning, because it's heavy on my heart, and uh, because I believe that the enemy has... Uh, kept our loved ones and our families and the family. He's, he's kept them too long. And it's time now that we begin to to uh, call them back home. The Lord tells us, if we decree a thing, it shall come to pass. And the prayers of the righteous men availeth, uh, availeth much. And uh, so the Lord hears our prayers and he allows us to intercede on their behalf. And I'm believing that we're going to snatch them back from the enemy's camp and bring them uh, back into the household of faith. Amen for the names. God, thank you, Jesus. And so I'm going to begin to pray in just one moment. My uh, daughter got up and let her go and distract herself for a moment while I pray. But I do believe that God has something for us today. I believe that God is going to do uh, some awesome things this morning in the lives of our loved ones. Uh, it's been heavy, heavy on my heart since yesterday. Heavy, heavy. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord God, we just thank you this morning. God, we, we bless your name and we, we God, we, we praise your name. Lord, we exalt and we, we magnify your name this morning, God. You're worthy of the praise. You're worthy of the honor. 
God, you're worthy of the glory. And this morning, God, we just, we lift our hands to you. We lift our hearts to you, God. And God, we thank you that you are God and God all alone, that you're God all by yourself, that beside you there, there is no other God. We, we magnify your name this morning, Lord. Lord, we just thank you, God, that you have you called us to get up this morning. You let us see another day. And the day, God, that you have made, God, that by your wisdom, by your mercy and grace, you allowed us to see. And Lord God, we thank you for those that are in the household of faith this morning. We thank you, God, that those who have heard the cry and have heard the sound of your voice and who have come home and have come into the fold. God, we, we thank you for them. And Lord, we ask the Holy Spirit to come. We ask you to, to come this morning and be close to us and to abide with us this morning. That as we begin to go into prayer, as we begin to intercede for our loved ones, God, that you cover us in the blood of Jesus. That the woman formed against us prosper, God, that you cover our minds and our thoughts, God, that no distractions will come today, God. As we begin to call out the name of our loved ones, as we begin to petition you, Lord God, on their behalf, God, we ask you this morning, God, to just touch our lips and touch our mouths and touch our minds. That as we begin to go into the strategy of prayer on their behalf, God, that you now, God, begin to arrest that demonic spirit, God, that is keeping them blinded from you, that's holding them hostage from you. God, right now, in the name of Jesus. We come to you this morning, God, first, God, asking just for repentance of our own sins, God, that anything we've done knowingly and unknowingly, God, that you would cleanse us up and take us, anything in us that's not like you, take it out, God, and wash us clean by the blood of the Lamb. And when we come before you today, God, we come with clean hands and we come with pure hearts, God. We don't come, God, as if we are perfect, but God, we come as imperfect people who needs a perfect God today. God, we thank you for being righteous and we thank you for being holy. We thank you, God. God, that you can call us home to you and your blood can cover every every sin and every multitude and every defect, God, in us, God, because you can wash it, you can fix it, you can correct it, God, because you made us. You made us in your image and after your likeness, God, and we don't even know who we are, God, until we come to the Father. So today, God, we, we cry out to God for our loved ones today, God. Those who have been lost, God, to occult, God, to those things that seem like God, but they're not, God. For those who are lost, God, in false religions and false doctrines and false teachings, God, we call out to you today, God, to show the truth, to see the light of truth, and God, break up error. God, break up the spirit of error. God, in the name of Jesus, God, come in and, and God, go into the roots, God. Go into their roots where they're planted, God, and show the destruction of the enemy. So how they've been deceived and how they've been locked into cultic behaviors and God religions that are not true religions, God, that they may see the true and holy God, that they may see Jesus as Lord and Savior, that they may see God that they've been led astray, God, in the name of Jesus. God, there's so many things pulling our loved ones away, God. So many doctrines out there, God, has been saying that they know the way, but God showed them that there's only one way to the the Father, today we call up our loved ones a lot, God, into false religions. False doctors get be given false hope, God. Ah, oh, God, we know right now that there's only one way. There's only one door. You can only get there by the name of Jesus Christ. If he is Lord and Savior of all, not just a good prophet, not just a, a some kind of God, not an archangel, but Jesus, and that is God, uh, incarnate God, God who came to the earth and put flesh on Jesus Christ, that he's Lord and King of kings. God, open up the eyes of our loved ones, God, who have been pulled aside and led us to Ray and told the lie and have received it. Today we call out for them, God. All those locked in false religions, she under the basale, she under the baka, they've been pulled away from you and your truth and your light, God. Begin to call them home right now, Lord Jesus. And then, God, we pray for our loved ones, They've been lost to drug addictions and drug abuse. Ha, she had a substance abuse, God, in the name of Jesus. Those who are locked in and they can't seem to have a lucid moment to know that Christ can do it and Christ can deliver them. Those who have been stuck on drugs, God, who have been led astray by the enemy, drugs and, and alcohol abuse, those, God, who have tried it and, and God, now they can't find their way out. They're, they're stuck, but God, we ask you to go into their bloodline, go into their blood system and God, begin to cleanse it up, God. Give them lucid moments. They can come to their self and realize uh, 
then you can do it and you can fix it. They won't be lost any longer. God, the enemy has had them addicted to drugs too long. He's had their mind and he's had their thoughts and he's tried, God, to hold them. But God, today we speak life over their minds and life over their thoughts and we speak right now God that they will not be addicted and they will not die in that mess they will not OD they will not overdose on drugs and they will not die from alcohol abuse and got all those things out there that's trying to destroy the brain and the mind and the ability to see you God we speak now life over our loved ones that they'll get free they'll be free God that you they'll take a moment and say God I, I know that you are God who can free me from any addiction you can deliver me from drug abuse you can deliver me from alcoholism and its effects, God. There won't be anyone today that we pray for them, God, that they will be loose today, God, from things that bind them, the things that hold them, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. We thank you, God. We pray for our loved ones today, God. We pray for our ones that are lost to sexual perversions and sexual addictions and, and prostitution, God. We pray for them. We pray for those, God, who are out there, God, in this in the society being wooed away by perversions and addictions, God, to pornography and addictions, God, to prostitution and, God, the, the misuse of their body, God. They, the temple, they're using it, God, as a device to be pulled, to, to be abused and to be raped and molested and God they're allowing it God because they don't know what else to do because they've been tricked by the enemy but God we're calling our loved ones home that are in sex trafficking and prostitution and those who will use their bodies God in the in the pornography industry and those who are out there selling their bodies on t TV and tapes and videos and God they're putting their bodies out there and they're taking money for sex and God those who are out there who are doing those things God we ask you right now to free them she <laughs> under God, have mercy on their soul. God, show them that this is not the way to go. Show them, God, that they cannot do these things that they're against you, who you are and who you call them to be because you made them fearfully and wonderfully made, God, because you're mighty in your works and you're, you're mighty in your ways and they will not stay out there. They will not be out there with the enemy. He won't abuse them anymore. He won't use them anymore. He won't tell them that they're not good enough. He will not be an able, God, to strip them of their dignity and give them shame and condemnation and he will misuse their bodies God in the name of Jesus we pray for those God who have been tricked we pray for those who have been tricked and deceived by the enemy we pray for our loved ones God that have been caught up in homosexuality God God, those who are living lives of homosexuality and bisexuality and transgenderism, God, and all these different things, God, have caused the natural state of who they are to be altered. It's caused their identity to be altered in the name of Jesus. They, they have believed a lie. I was born this way. This is the way that I am. God, those who believe a lie, God, that it's okay to live these lifestyles, that I can enter in into heaven in this lifestyle, that I can be this, God. But God, we know that you've called us to be one thing and what you made us in the beginning you made no mistakes God and we call out their names today we plead the blood of Jesus over their minds and over their thoughts God that truth prevail in their hearts God that they will come out of this, uh, these issues God they'll come out they'll wake up and realize that there is no salvation outside of God that they cannot live a sin filled life and still enter in to the gates of heaven they cannot live and feed the flesh and think the spirit will be saved God that they cannot feed the flesh and think the spirit man will grow. They cannot feed the flesh and think, God, that it's okay. They've been tricked and deceived by the enemy. They have been told and fed lies by our, our nations and our governments, and they've been fed these lies, God, and they've been told that they can be this way. But God, we know that you caused us, God, to understand that you had an order, and you called us into order. And you never make a mistake, God. So we ask you to re release them from their bondage. 
However it came upon them, God. However it entered in. However the seed came was planted. God, you snatched the seed at its root and pluck it from them, Jesus. God, you free them today that they understand that they have to walk right. They have to live right. And God, you require us to give up our sins. God, pray for those who are lost into fornication. God, right now, those that are are just lost, God, into it. They have sexual addictions in the name of Jesus. They're, They're walking around with sexual addictions, God, right now. They don't know how to stop having different sex with different people, God. People are even moving into so sadistic behavior, but God, we ask you to snatch them back from the from the enemy. Snatch them out of his camp, God, that they can see the truth, God. They need deliverance today. They need deliverance today, God. We believe in deliverance. We believe you'll deliver them today, God. They have these hidden lifestyles that they think nobody knows about. But God, you see it all. You see it all, God. They're living, God, lascivious lifestyles that are not pleasing unto you, God. But you see it all. We pray today for our lukewarm loved ones. Those who are, have one foot in the church and one foot in the world. We know, God, that that's disaster. That is a recipe for disaster. You might as well not be living for Christ at all if you're going to do whatever you want to do. And you come to church and pretend that you have caught the Holy Spirit. God, we need to have an experience with you, God. That will stop them from going to the party and going to the club and then coming to church and think it's all the same. God, do a work in their life, God, that they understand that Christ is calling them to a higher place of praise. He's calling to a, a higher standard to live by, that you can't live one foot in the world and one foot in the church. You can't be a liar and a deceiver. You can't be a molester in the church and then go back and, God, God do it right now, Jesus. God, we pray for those who are, who are in the church, God, who are living these double lives. They think because they're that church, God, that they're saved, but they got to give up their lifestyle. They got to give up the thing that's causing them to be hindered. They got to give it up, God, that they will understand that, God, when you come back for your church, you're coming for a church without spot or wrinkle, God. You're coming back for a church who is striving for perfection. You're coming back for a church, God, who submitted their sins unto you and said, God, wash our sins and white us to know. You submit it to the Lord and say, I may not know how to always get out of it, but God, I submit it to you. I'm not going to live this way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to search and I'm going to seek for the Lord. I'm going to come out to the Lord. I'm going to do everything I need to do, and I'm going to submit my sin sickness to you, and I'm going to say, Lord, deliver me. Lord, change me. Lord, correct me. I need a change of the Lord. I need his spirit to come in. I need an experience with the Lord. I won't be double-minded in this season. I won't fall parade to the enemy. I won't go back and forth, but I'm going to find the Lord, and I'm going to be steadfast and unmovable, and I'm going to give up my sin for you. I'm going to walk this thing out, and I won't let the enemy come in any longer and keep me captive and hold my mind hostage, and I won't let distractions come in, but I'm going to search for the Lord. I'm going to find him while there's still day. I'm going to seek him while there's still time. God, we just intercede on their behalf today. We ask you to break every curse and every bondage of lack God in their life. Every need be met. Every wound be healed. Every spirit of molestation and rape that's caused them to run. God, heal the wounds of their transgressions. God, that they may come forth and find the Lord. Open up their eyes and give them new surroundings and give them new atmospheres of people around them and give them a new worship and a new praise and a new hunger after the Lord God because you can do it and Lord we pray for them today that they won't die in their sin and they won't die in their mess and they will find the Lord that someone will speak the truth to them in love and the love will bring them home and compassion will bring them back and grace and mercy will cover them all the blood of Jesus will cover them once again they will become God Repenting of what they've done, but God knowing that even in that, God, that you're still God and you're still mighty to save. We thank you today, God, that we come praying for them. 
seeking God on their behalf because they can't see it. They can't hear it. They're locked into bondage, but the righteous can come to you, Lord. The ones who've been blood washed can come to you, Lord. We can come boldly to the throne of grace and we can pray on their behalf that their heart would get right. Those who are walking around in unforgiveness and, and bitterness and, and anger, God, we cover them. God, bring them out of those things that will cause them to fall into Sheol. God, those things will cause them to fall by the ways that those things will cause them, God, not to see the truth. God, those who are walking around with grudges in their hearts and holding on to this mess and this madness, and it caused them to fall away from the church because they got upset with something somebody said, the spirit of offense, God. We break it in the name of Jesus. God, somebody's been offended and they're holding on to it. Somebody's been hurt and bitterness and anger has set in and so they've walked away from God. It's like they were walking away from people, but they walked away from God. Lord, today we call them back home. We call them back to you. We put their names and we call them back to you. They will not perish. They will not perish. They will not perish in this world, but they will find Jesus. They'll find you, God, in the midnight hour. They'll find you, God, while it's still day. They'll find you, God, and they will not perish. God, the enemy has had a hold of them long enough. And so, God, we use our weapons of our warfare because they're not kind of, but they're mighty through the pulling down of strongholds. And so, God, we come to you in prayer, pulling down the strongholds in our loved ones' life, God, pulling it down, God, and causing them to see the truth, pulling it down and setting them free, pulling it down and giving them time, God, to understand and make a lucid decision. God, we call the prodigal sons and daughters back home, the ones that ran away, God. Who decided that the world offers more than the church. The world offers more than Jesus. The world can offer them more than what they seeing. But God, we speak right now over their life. And our God, we speak right now to their spirit, man. And God, we ask you to arrest their spirit. God, we send the light and the love of Jesus Christ to them and show them who you are. We speak right now that they'll have dreams and they'll have visions and they'll have understanding of who you are. God, that you will go to them and you will tell them that I love you. Which may you can't live like this. God, we pray right now that our prayers are reaching heaven, that you hear our cries for our loved ones today, and they will not fall, and they will not die, and they will not perish, and they will have the opportunity to say, oh, I believe in Jesus, that I won't perish this way. The enemy has lied, and he's held them, God, too long. He has held them for far too long. But God, we take our power back. We take our authority in the, in the spirit back, God, because you've given us all power and all authority, God, when you died and you rose again and you said you placed it in your people. And so, God, we take authority that you've given us in the earth. God, we take it right now. We speak over our loved ones. We speak their names, Jesus. Every name that was put up today, God, every name, even those who couldn't write, God, every name of people that are watching that are saying the names of their loved ones today, we call them home. We break the chains and the bondages, God, that they will not be stuck any longer. The enemies had them blinded and walking around demonic cycles and patterns, but God, today we speak the chains are coming off. The chains are coming off. Oh, God, open their eyes to see the truth. The truth that we love them, God, and we don't hate them. The truth that God is love and not hate. They'll see the truth. They'll understand that correction is love. We don't want them to perish. We want them to come in. God, give us wisdom when speaking. Give us wisdom when speaking. Give us the right things to say. Temper our words. But God, let us speak the truth. The truth and love. God, right now. Somebody, God, huh? somebody, God, is going to be saved. Somebody today is going to call on the name of Jesus. Somebody today is going to say it with their hearts that I know I've lived a certain kind of way, but I'm tired. But today I'm going to come home. Today I'm going to find the Lord. Today I've decided to make a change in my life. Today I'm going to move in the things of God. Today I'm going to put down my problems and my issues and my weights. And today I'm going to come out of this sickness that I'm in. I'm going to come out of this lifestyle I live. I'm not going to be greedy. 
again. I'm not going to be greedy for filthy lucre, but I'm going to come home to the body of Christ. I'm going to come back to Jesus. I'm not going to stay in my sin. I'm not going to stay in this mess. But today I put down everything that's stopping me and I come back to the Lord. Today I'm going to march forth and find Christ and him crucified. <coughs> In every name, God, every name, God, is lifted up to you today. God, we put an expectation on you today. We put an expectation and demand in the spirit. We said so we can come boldly to your throne. And so, God, we put an expectation and a demand on the spirit today. And we ask you, God, to get our loved ones. We ask you to go to them, God. We ask you to visit them, God, and, and not to stop, Lord, until they come home. Arrest their spirit and rest their thinking, God, and those patterns and those breaks in their, in their minds and thoughts, God, that just keep plaguing them. The spirit of curses and, and witchcraft and bondage and, and those things that have been taught to them, God, and it's taken root that's not like you. We ask you to pluck the root out, God. Every chain be broken today. Every spirit that's not like you be broken today. We even ask you to break thought patterns, God, where they say, I've got time. I've got time to come back. I'll serve him later. I'll do it later. Break that demonic spirit, God. That's a lie from the enemy. That's holding them in bondage. We come against the thoughts and the lies in their minds. In their thinking, God, that says, I can do it later. I can do it later. Break it, Jesus. Because they need to find you while they still have time, Lord. So, God, we pray for them today. That we be a light in their lives. That we be a light in their spirits. That if, if, if it's not us that can go to them, then send someone to them, God. They can find them, they can speak their language. They can speak to them. They can get the rule and have a breakthrough. We speak breakthrough to them today. To those who, who just are lost, Jesus. That are lost. Who need to see you, God. We speak advancement of the kingdom of God today. Advance in our loved one's life. They will not continue to hold out. They will not continue to hold out. They will not continue to hold out, but they'll come running. And they'll say, I know that you have the light of God in you. Show me what I must do to be saved. We speak it today, God. Over every demonic ancient spirit that's blocking them, God, we break it in Jesus' name. The kingdom of God will advance in their life. We will gain the ground in their life. They'll come with repentance today, God. And so today we thank you, God. We thank you for families. We thank you today, God. And we come, God, today weeping on their behalf. Asking and pleading for mercy on their behalf. Asking for grace on their behalf, God. Asking you not to allow the enemy to take them out. Not in their sin, Jesus. We're pleading for mercy on their behalf, God. God, we're pleading for mercy on their behalf, God. That the light of Jesus will flow in their life. And you will cover them in the blood. You will cover them in the blood, Lord. You will cover them in the blood. Now, God, every purpose and every destiny that's been stolen from them by the enemy. God, as they come home, restore it. Mommy. Everything they've lost, God, the enemy is stolen. God, restore it right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, he stole their mind, but give it back to them, God. He stole their thoughts, but give it back to them, God. He stole their ability to comprehend, but give it back to them, God. He stole it from them, God. And we ask you to return it that they may find you, Jesus. We thank you for our loved ones today. We thank you in advance, God, for the work that you're already doing. We thank you that you put it on our hearts this morning to pray for them. We thank you for using us, God, in the atmosphere, in this earth realm, to pray for them, Lord. For prayer is powerful. Prayer is powerful, Jesus. 
Calls us back into prayer. Give us the ability to stay in prayer. Give us the ability to, to go into prayer. We may go into the spirit realm and ascend to this world and pray for those, God, who need it, Jesus. For many have been saved alive because of prayer. Now call your people back to prayer. Not gossip, but prayer. <laughs> Not speaking curses, but prayer. Let us speak life over our loved ones. We speak life today. We declare and decree that they will not be lost. They will not die in their sin. They will come home. They will find new life. They shall not perish, but they shall find God and live. They will not stay bound, but they shall live. It doesn't matter what their parents used to be, but God, they shall live. All those who have been in for years of their life, they shall live. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. If you are Jesus Christ, you can do what you want. God, we say right now, life over them God no matter what the age no matter what the age they can be saved alive from 90 on time they can be saved alive they're not just like that they're not just born like that it's not how they're always going to be but God you can change them God you can change them our grandparents on down, you can change them. Do it, oh God. Do it, oh God. Do it, oh God. We're expecting a visitation, God. We're expecting visitation to begin to happen, God. We expect to see the harvest begin to come in. And then prepare your people to receive and to speak life and to speak wisdom. And to speak understanding. And to temper our words with love and compassion, Jesus. That we will bring them home, God. That we be restored to the household of faith. And we thank you, God. We thank you, God. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise, God. Every curse be broken, we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. And it is so. Yes, it is so. Yes, that's right, my Aunt Diane. It is so. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We come in agreement with the Spirit of God. Because it is already done. It is already done. It's already done. Well, God bless you guys today. Thank you so much for being on prayer with me and agreeing with me this morning. I know that God is going to answer prayer. I know when God gives us a burden to pray, we pray. I woke up feeling weepy, so I'm sorry. I already knew the weeping was coming. <laughs> but I know that when the Lord speaks something, he speaks the truth. And he's calling us into another level of prayer. And we do pray for the violence. And we pray for the violence in Chicago and everywhere. There's so much violence just in our world, period. Um, in Detroit, just, just everywhere, we pray. We know that God can make a difference and that we have to just come together as the body of Christ that we got to pray. It's time to get back <laughs> to praying. Yes, God, the wailing woman. Yes, God, hallelujah. It's time to get back to tearing <laughs> before the Lord. So God bless you guys today. Have a great day. I'm praying that God's going to bless you today. As we begin to see the harvest come in, God's going to just bless. Be prepared to receive the harvest when they come back in. Thank you for praying against backlash and retaliation. Thank you. God bless you for that. Thanks for praying for me. I appreciate that so much. And so we pray that God is just going to move on our lives and keep us all safe as we go into the throne of grace and we're covered in the blood. And that no one performed against us shall prosper um, because God's going to do a great work in our life. God bless you too. I love you guys right back. Um, I'll see you this afternoon uh, for the Dream Scope. So come back. We'll talk about the dreams this afternoon. God bless you. Have a great and awesome day. Be covered. Cover me as I cover you. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.